All right, so I got a confession to make. I've lost a lot of good people in the last two years. And I don't want to see that happen ever again. It reminds me a lot when I started in 2009, I kid you not, if the guys that I had started with were able to make it through that time period, I'd be eighth or ninth in the depth charts. A lot of good talent keeps coming in and out of the business because they have the wrong expectation on time. Uh, and so I did this nice diagram, not only for a recruitment tool, but also to, to put into everybody's minds that this business is going to take the third and fourth year to really start to materialize. Okay, so when I think about a broker's timeline, I want to put it in this perspective. A business plan that's designed for success works in the worst case circumstances. I'll repeat that. A business plan that's designed for success works under the worst case circumstances. And so look, when somebody enters in the marketplace, and, and look, there's, there's plenty of examples where people make money in this time, time period. But again, under the worst case scenario that you're not gonna make any money until month 24 to 48, do you have the finances? Do you have the ability to weather that storm? Because if you do, and you stay in the seat, you're gonna be successful. When I think about it, this zero to 12, I, don't, I was trying to think about what to call it. It's probably just called the know nothing zone. You absolutely know nothing. You just suck time from everybody that's trying to teach you. This is a huge expense for every team and brokerage operation. Month 12, you start to actually have an idea of what to talk about, but you're kind of, you got some proposals. You've been burned a few times. People keep standing you up. You thought you're going to get a listing. It doesn't happen. You thought the the buyer was going to sign the contract, it doesn't happen, but you have very few balls in the air. You're not juggling a whole lot of things. So you're really, your business is really based upon a very few chance things happening. Right in this 12 to 24 month period, right around month 18, actually in, in specific time, this is the danger zone. This is the time when you're going to want to stop and you're going to want to start looking at other careers and start interviewing other places and start wondering, you know, maybe this is going to work out, maybe it won't. If this deal doesn't happen next week, if Joe DiMaggio doesn't sign, you know, I'm, I'm out. This is when you're going to feel like stopping. Do not stop here. Keep going, right? Do not stop here. Don't stop. Don't stop. If you can make it to here, 24 months in, 24 months in the calls, that's when things are actually going to start to click. Your ability to go and, and to convert anything that used to take you forever or that you just messed up to begin with, this is when just things start really happening. And most people are freaking out in this area and they're not giving themselves the time it takes. So I don't know if there's faulty information. I don't know if uh, you know the, the blogs are making you think that people are outperforming you in their first two years. I guarantee you they're not. Some people get lucky and they close a the deal here and then that, that, that makes them think that they're, you know, they're, you know, thing don't stink and they stop taking the effort uh, to get to there. But stay in the game until month 24. 24 to 36 is when you're going to actually have some money materialize. The worst thing that could happen is you might be able to get lucky in this first 24 months and you're not going to recognize how hard you have to work to keep that going. You know, and if I continue this on, really it's month 36 to, to 60 is when there's another danger zone that comes with, I have some things going, things are starting to click, but I'm not taking the massive amount of action that I did in my first 24 months in terms of calls, velocity, tours, you know, when you're, you're really, you're, your back's against the wall. The, the, the next danger zone is when you start making $150,000, $200,000 a year and you feel good about yourself. You have to keep pummeling the market like you were in your first 24 months. That never needs to stop, but don't rest in your laurels. Give it the time it takes.